everybody. Now, the first step to this dish is I am going to marinate it. Oh, yes, I am. I'm going to marinate it in some buttermilk. Mm. Now, this rotisserie chicken, remember, like I told you before, I'm doing this for the first time. So I hope it works, but I think it will work. But it's going to be even better because I'm going to marinate it. But let me just show you. Hold up. There we go. Can you see it all gloopily looply? Yes. That's your buttermilk. Oh, yes. And then, we're going to tie this up. Let's get the air out. Whoa! Almost this lost my buttermilk. Oh, you leaking? <laughs> oh, we got a leak. And that's it. So let's just leave this whole chicken sitting here to marinate And we're going to be putting it on its little turdy screwers in a minute <laughs> to rotisserate it. Okay? Okay. See you later. Bye. My chicken has been marinating for two hours. Oh, yes, it has. Now what I need to do, and this is going to be the tricky part, is to get this chicken onto my skewers for my rotisserie rabbit. Because I ain't never done this before, but we're going to try it. So first thing first, oh no, don't get my, let's get my buttermilk. Whoa. Whoa. Camera on that? Yes. Of course. Alright, there's my chicken. Oh yeah. And the buttermilk. A bit, a bit, a bit of mess. Now, this is going to be curry flavored. I Stay on me. So, I'm going to now take some curry powder. Let's just get some curry powder. Let's take it out. Move that over. So, let's just get this and let's just massage this curry powder, top and bottom, because remember it's rotisserie. I'll get my hands here. Now, this is my new air fryer. I've never done this before, but that ain't gonna stop me. <laughs> so, okay. Now, that, these are my prongs, so I've got them this way. So, what I need to do here let me see how this thing works. You kind of go through. Oops. Let me go through here. Oh my goodness. Let me see here. And then get this to kind of. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Come out the other end. Yes, it's come out the other end. So now let's get this. Get it on, kind of stick it in. Prongy, prongy, rongy's in. Let's get this. Get that screw there. Oh, wait a minute. I will do this. I shall survive. There we go. There we go. Now screw that in. Get it nice and tight. Alright, let's just get me another paper towel. Now we need to get a little bit more love dust. And I had... Oh, here we go. Got a bit of an onion here. And I'm going to stick this just inside the belly of the chicken. So that's going to add some flavor. Now, I need to make sure... It was marked up. Uh oh, wait a minute. This hasn't gone in for, far enough. Mm -hmm. Let me, I can see it. Let me get that right. It has to go all the way. There's a little notch there. Let's get it in. Get it in. Yeah, come on. Come on. Let's get that in. And now just tighten it. Now, I think I can remember what side goes in. I think it's this side. Let me see. Yeah. I think it's this side here. But you know what? When I do it, 
So Phil, come around here mm -hmm. so you can see mm -hmm. me go in. Mm -hmm. So it goes. Nope. Wait. Let's see. So this goes. Yeah. Here we go. Oh my goodness, it's a big one. So can you see? Yeah, let's get a closer look. Okay. Yeah, look, look, so. Look the back shining, so okay. Yeah, that's yeah. the light. But now what yeah. I'm going to try and do here. Let me just see here. Let's see if it works. That's the. Turn the light on. It ain't doing it yet. Maybe I haven't got it in properly. I'm going to catch at the bottom right now. Yeah, but it still should but turn. Should, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, um, oh no, that's not. It's not in there. We go. Sometimes things don't work out, but you know what? You don't give up. You try, try, and try again. Maybe. Oh, wait a minute. Let's try it this way. Hold up, guys. There we go. Now let's see. Let's see. Nope. Keep it on. I'm gonna keep going until I get this right. This side. I've got this know. side in. And that's in. And now let's try it one more time. So in, in, close. Yeah. Is it going? Yes, it's turning. Here, wait a minute. Let me get in there. My hands. Give it here. So look. It's turning. So. And I hit the chicken. Wait a minute. And is it still turning? Turn that. Yes. So now we'll just come back to this and, and see how we do. What's going on with my chicken? But it stopped rotisserie. <laughs> it ain't turning. And this is for my dinner. So I'm gonna have to work on this. And when I get it right, I will do it. But for right now, mama ain't got time. I ain't got time to be waiting around for no gadget to cook my dinner. So I am going to put a little bit of coriander over this. I am going to put this straight in, back into my air fryer, because oh yeah, this air fryer is brilliant when it comes to roasting. I'm going to close it, and I'm going to go back to my chicken, and I'm going to start it up. So we're having some non-rotisserie chicken baked in my air fryer. I'll show you how it goes when it comes out, okay? Mama, I, mama, do not give up. I never give up. I just swap it up, okay? See you in a minute. Today's video has been brought to you live and direct from Porta de Salada, De La Mar, in the sunshine. Yeah. Sunshine! Okay, so look at that chicken. It's looking great. Really golden and brown. It's only been cooking in the air fryer, I'd say, for about 20 minutes. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to flip it over. There you go. Get that side. And then we're going to put it back into the air fryer. Right now, let's get it back in. And carry on cooking. Welcome back my rotisserie chicken that did not rotisserize. All right. It just didn't turn. So we have baked it. Look at that. Lovely. And I just want to show you how when you do this in the air fryer. Oh yes. It's just so tender. Now this here, it's a little bit pink. So I'm going to put it back in. Let's pull it. But this is the good way to check. Check at your joints. Okay, mm, so yeah. it's still just a little bit pink, so it's not quite ready. I'm going to turn the temperature down because I don't want it to overcook it. But it's, it's doing lovely. So we're going to come back to you. But I just need to turn that temperature down 
So let's see here. I so we're going chicken. That reason it was going too fast is I hadn't changed the setting from the chips, which is on a higher setting. So let's put it back on chicken, and it's back on chicken. And now let's let that cook because now the temperature is a little bit lower. See you on the other side. Hi guys, you hear that sizzle? That's yep. because I've taken my chicken out of the pan here, and let's give it a cut. Let me just show you. Lovely. Moist. Cooked through to the bone. Perfect. Crispy. The way I like it. And what I'm going to do now is if you come back here, this is the pan that it was cooked in. And these, you turn that down, are the juices. And here is my water from my mashed potato. And I'm just going to pour that and even all of that because that's thick enough. That's your potato bit. So we're just going to now give that a good stir to make a nice homemade gravy. Look at that coloring. You can see how brown it is already. Yeah. Yeah. And there's nothing been added to this other than the juices from the chicken. Okay. Yeah. But I'm saying there's no other like chicken stock or anything like that. Okay, and we're just going to let that cook down. I'm going to add to that though, I've got some Worcestershire sauce over here. We get my W sauce. Yeah, my limp parent. Let's just put a touch of that in. And then we'll just let that gravy cook. Let that gravy cook and do its thing. So, people, with a little bit of peace, a whole lot of love from the mama and her. Remember, this was curry flavored. Just show you. Oh, Lord. Oh, yeah, look at that. See, just comes apart. Mm. Flaky, flaky. Flaky, flaky. Delicious, delicious. Mm, that's good. That's good. Peace out. See you next time. Bye. Oh, by the way, earlier in this video, it looked like Mama had her teeth knocked out. <laughs> it was lipstick on my tooth. All right. I'm going to put a note up let people know I ain't got no blackened teeth. Okay. See you later. Bye.